Hi everyone, it's Brittany here, and I have a quick card share, and then I want to talk about um, using up scraps a little bit. Um, so first I'm going to show you guys what I used um, for my card. So for this card I used my Whimsy Stamp Bookish, and she just sold out, but um, next month I will probably be reordering more. Um, so I used that, and then I used some of this paper, which is... Um, School Spirit Collection by Crate Paper, and I had actually got this from Crafty Adriana. So thank you, Adriana. I like this paper a lot. Um, it's really, really cute. And there's lots of different school theme things, and it is double-sided. Um, so yeah. So I used that, and here is my card. So um, I just colored her in with my Copics. And then for this ruler, this is just um, a cardstock sticker from Basic Gray. It was one of in one of my like miscellaneous collections, so I'm not really sure what collection that came from, but I thought it was super cute and kind of went with the card. And then um, this grade card, I just cut out of one of the pieces of paper. Um, there's a couple on here that are usable that weren't cut off. Um, so I did that, and then I put the little A plus on there and. Just backed it. It's pretty simple, but I thought it was super cute. Um, I haven't added a sentiment yet. I don't know if I'm going to add one or what it'll be. I don't really have um, like school sentiment st stamps yet. So, and then on the inside, it's pretty plain. I just did a piece of the um, excess paper that I cut off. So that is my card. Um, and then I want to share with you guys really quick. I mentioned yesterday that I'm trying to use up my scraps, and um, I have, if you guys know, like the plastic drawer organizers, there's like three drawers in it. Well, I have one of those, and I've always designated one drawer for scraps, and my drawer is huge. Like, it's filled to the max right now. It's overflowing. Um, and I'm really terrible, because every now and then I'll cut like a larger piece, and then I just throw it in there, because I didn't use it, but it's still not necessarily a scrap. But, um, so I just wanted to give a couple ideas and, um, share a couple other ideas that I found, um, just really fast. So, yeah, if you guys are interested, you can stick around. Um, so from my, like, mini albums, I always have, like, these strips of paper. Um, they're not very wide, and they're the length of my paper. Um, probably eight and a half by about two and a half or so. Um, so I have a bunch, of, like those sizes, you know, and just these random other sizes. But a good way to use these is if you guys have any tab punches or anything like that, um, that's a good way to use them. Um, I tend to punch out some tabs every time, like, I notice I'm getting a stack of these or something. That way I don't even have to put them in my scrap jar drawer, and then um, I just put my tab punches aside, and that way when I need that color or whatever for that project, I can use it. And I also do white because I could spray them, I could stamp them, I can kind of manipulate those into whatever I want. And then here's another punch that I use is, um, I don't know the name of it, I don't think there's a name on here. But it's EK Success and it's like the labels. And you get the large, medium, and small. Um, and these are good for just, you know, lots of different things, putting sentiments on cards and such. So I do those. Um, I have a couple flowers that I'll punch out. Um, now for this year I have some snowflakes that I'll probably punch out, but you can get like six out of just a tiny strip like this of these, um, tab punches. And if you guys don't have a tab punch, but you have a Cricut, oops, sorry you guys, um, if you have a Cricut or a silhouette or anything, you guys can, you know, just line it up on your mat and cut out of that. I did that too this morning just because... I'm really trying to get my scraps down, and then you already have the labels or the tabs or whatever for your next project. Just set them aside, you know, in a jar or whatever, and it's just a great way to use them up. And then this is not my idea at all. Um, I got this from Lyric Lover 810, and um, mine are not as pretty as hers at all. She did some for Halloween, and I wanted to kind of do my take on it, but... Yeah, they didn't turn out as cute as hers, but I will show you guys anyways. Um, she made her own little embellishments, so I tried that also. So here's the first one, 
and I just cut the Santa out with a one inch circle punch. I used a flower um, kind of punch for my in my vellum because I have some scrap vellum and then I just used a scallop circle punch for the background and put some dots on because it looks really plain without those um, and then I'll just show you guys a couple other ones that I did these just came out of a pattern piece of paper that were like grid with these cute little images so I just wanted to give it a try and I mean maybe I'll use these maybe I won't but they're kind of cute and then here's a snowflake one, and I colored the snowflake with my um, clear glitter pen. And then behind it, I have vellum over the pattern paper, just to kind of give it that frosted look. And then lastly, this one's not done because I don't have a fall sentiment, but um, I just used a little leaf punch, and then the circle, and then the scallop circle. And I did ink around the edges. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share those with you guys. I know it's probably stuff that, you know, we've all already seen, but I just know for me, I'm really trying to use up my scraps right now, um, or incorporate them in my projects just so that I can get my drawer down. And I've been shopping a lot more than I should, so I think that it's good to sometimes just focus on using what we have. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this helped, and I hope you guys have a great day.